E o Welcome to Slay the Spanier. Date paying the daily challenge for May 12th, 2024. The character of the defect and the modifier Sakamira, you're starting to guess a fusion of all characters. Flight, you may ignore path when choosing the next room to travel to. And Night Terrors, resting at rest outs heals 100% of your HP, but costs 5 max HP. Again, I'm sorry I'm recording so late today. I was not feeling well today and I was uh, this, this morning, and I was hoping that it would go away. And I might still make some cuts in the video to avoid my sneezes, but I should be better. So I see Rado here with 1581 and Sita with 1534. Seems like this run is doable. Chimera does things make does make things very difficult usually. All right, so with the flight modifier, I can hit three of the four leads, and as always, I'll maximize question mark rooms until I can um, until I have enough curses. And then with Chimera, start off with eruption, zap, survivor, and bash, and then three strikes and three defense. Eruption is a little dangerous. I might consider removing that. I don't have the slime boss, so I'm not sure if it's going to be super necessary. Um, for now, let's just do Strike, Strike, and Survivor, okay? I actually think I will remove the Eruption, because it's, it's again, going to be really hard to use. I mean, it's really nice this turn, but it's going to be hard to use on Act 2 and 3. Ball Lightning, self prepare Leap, I think I'll go for an Orb deck, so let's take the Ball Lightning. And here I got a Survivor and Ball Lightning upgrade, good. And here I got more HP lost for some gold. Oof. Yeah, see, if I do Eruption here, I'll take way too much damage, so I think instead I'll do Defend, Strike, and Zap. Mm -hmm. Alright, actually taking a bit of damage so far. Uh, let's kill this one with a Strike, then Ball Lightning, and then the Orb should kill next turn, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll speed this up with an Eruption. Good. Alright, Reinforced Body, Beam Cell, Steam Bear. This is a great defensive card. I think I'll take the Reinforced Body. And then Upgrade, Remove, or Transform... Oh boy, upgrade the eruption? No, I think I'll take I'll, I'll, I'll upgrade the bash mostly because I don't think I'll really be able to use the, the eruption, especially not in this fight. Luckily, the survivor is upgraded here, so let's play that. And then strike and zap. I don't have high hopes. I don't have any potions to help me here. I don't have high hopes of being able to perfect this one. I would need to draw... Actually, I could do reinforced body. Yeah, sure, you know what? Let's uh, delay the inevitable for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I need to draw the eruption... Or the... Um, yeah, I needed to draw one more defend, which I didn't. That's fine. All right, um, let's just do a strike here. I am considering maybe I should have played the defend just to avoid taking damage, uh, taking too much damage, because I might die if I'm not too careful. Luckily, I got the uh, reinforced body here again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, still have a bunch of these in my draw and discard piles. Let's do strike, ball lightning, and then defend. Okay, here I'll preserve HP. Now I think with the orbs I should have an easier time. And I think this is going to be boring, so I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Alright, yeah, that was not too difficult. We got back of marbles at the Savage Combat. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies, as well as a skill potion and cold snap. Yeah, if I'm going for an orb deck, I should take the cold snap. Uh, here I get my first curse, curse for a bunch of gold. And I think I'm ready to go for a shot because I just picked up gold. Happy Flower is really good. Every three turns get extra energy. Is there a reason not to go for collector bonuses? Yeah, I just have one character to play with, so let's take the Cold Snap here. Yeah, let's do Cold Snap. Um, Defragment, Recursion, and I could even afford a Leap. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. And I can also afford a Fire Potion. Let's do that as well. A Weakness Potion might have been better for the upcoming boss. I have to figure out a good way to defend against that. We got Bottle Flame. I'll pick up choosing the Tax. I'll just come with this card in your hand. I don't have anything amazing that I desperately need on my opening hand, but the Cold Snap of these cards, I think the Cold Snap is the best just because it allows me to at least have one Frost Orb. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't play it here. So here I'll wait. I'm hoping to get the Defragment. Mm, I didn't get it. Okay. Okay, well, well, at least I can hopefully get a Cold Snap. Yeah, there's a Defragment, Cold Snap, and Strike. This one is still going to be tough. I do have a Skill Potion. I wonder if I can... Actually use it to defend here. Luckily, I have Survivor and Defend and Zap. Okay, so far so good. Mm, another 18. Let me see if the Skill Potion gives me anything. Reinforced Body might be enough. Charge Battery would be 7. Uh, that's not enough. I think I have to do Reinforced Body. A 2 Energy 1 is not enough, right? That will be 17, so it has to be a 3 Energy 1. Unfortunately, I haven't dealt any damage yet other than the Orb, so hopefully I can make that up. Uh, let's do Ball Lightning, Cold Snap, and Strike. Okay. Oh boy, losing strength in next year. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do here, right? Even with the fire potion, I just don't have enough. Let's do leap, defend. Yeah, no, not, there's nothing. Unfortunately, nothing I could have done here. Actually, I wonder if instead of leap, defend, if I played an attack card with the fire potion and the orbs, maybe that would have been enough. But since I don't have enough at the moment, I can just um, 
safety fire potion for later. There is a chance I could have perfected this one, I think. We got data this, 30 combo with one focus, that's great. A dex potion and another defragment, sure. Mm -hmm. And then here, uh, do I need to remove anything? No, no, I think I'm happy with the dex, although I could remove that eruption that I was complaining about. I would lose HP that way though. No, let's gain the gold. I'm sure I'll be able to remove it later on. All right, Grumman Knob. Okay, so here is an eruption. That is actually really tempting. Let me try this. Let's do eruption and bash. Because I also have a fire potion still, right? So I just need to deal 17 damage, which I can do with... Actually, I don't even need the potion. Beautiful. That mummified hand. One of you play a power card or an card in your hand because zero that turn. That makes me think power deck. Bullseye, scrape, or claw. Let's take the bullseye. Claw would be... Or a scrape would be better if I had more zero cost cards. I got the jaw worm. Let's see what the fragment hits. Okay, I can do ball lightning, cold snap, and strike. Oh, wow. That is enough to actually kill. Beautiful. Turn one kill. Not bad. Another dex potion. And here, charge battery is good. Auto shield is good too, but let's take the charge battery. And then here I got Torian Thopto. When we use a potion, heal 5 HP. That's actually very useful. Let me just count how many question mark rooms I ended up, just so I can make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so I got 6 on this act. Okay. And then here... I think I should upgrade the powers because I also have the mummified hand. I will probably play the powers every time I can. All right, yep, there it is. Okay, and I can get a frost drop going. Uh, let me do bullseye, ball lightning, and then cold snap. Okay. I will consider dex potion if I have to. Um, here I'll do leap, another cold snap. I think having two frost drops is better. And then, wait, so I have 16. Yeah, I can do a regular strike here as well, right? Okay. Uh huh. Another 16. Oh, there's a defragment. That's 12, 17. Okay. I just won't play anything else. All right. Mm -hmm. And then here, can I transform? No, but I think instead I can do survivor. That will be enough. And then I guess I can do recursion. No, let's do, let's do bash and zap. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I can get another frost drop, that would be great. I would have 18 block would allow me to almost be fully defended. Let's do charge battery, two strikes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another nine, I have 12. Uh, let's do cold snap. That should give me block. You know what? Let's do defend first just to be safe. But yeah, I got the block first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 16. Uh, let's do leap. Uh, cold snap. Bullseye. Okay. Try to do zap. You know what? Let's do zap too. Why not? Not exactly what I had in mind when I wanted to just have frost orbs, but it should be fine, especially if I get a recursion here. And then cold snap and ball lightning. Okay. I am dealing a good amount of damage. Yeah, we'll deal 14 in the next two turns, and I just need a little bit extra. Yeah, and then the orb will kill next turn. Awesome. Yeah, the orbs, without the orbs, I don't think I would have been able to perfect this one. But I did. Okay. Echo form electro knives all for one. I might go for popper. I don't think I think this deck is strong enough to survive without rare cards. Echo form would have been nice, but yeah, I think I'll skip this one and go for popper. Black star would be really nice. I don't think I need astral or busted crown. Let's take the black star, elite strong, bristle relic when defeated. That might help me quite a bit. Hopefully, I can get Alex shiny. I miss getting Alex shiny so badly yesterday. I'll mention it in the recap, but there were like three opportunities I could have gotten it, and I, I just completely missed it. I can hit all the four elites, all four elites on this act, so let me count question mark rooms at the end, but I will maximize them. So far, I only have one curse, right, which is a little disappointing, for six question mark rooms especially. Let's do the fragment, bullseye, cold snap, and leap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't have AoE damage, right? I just rely on the orbs, which is not super reliable. Let's get rid of the doubt, then recursion, defend, and I actually will take quite a bit of damage here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what happened when you don't have AoE. Uh, let's do... I think I'll do Bash and Strike to kill this one. Then Charge Battery. Okay. Still taking two damage here. I could have considered drinking the Dex Potion, actually. That might have been something to do. Um, here, I'll do Ball Lightning. Uh, Zap will just give me 9 block. No, I think I'll do Defend, Strike. Uh, you know what? Let's do Zap after all. Why not? I think the Orbs should be enough. Yeah, next turn the Orbs will kill. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me drink this after all. I know it's a little too late, but at least that will heal me, and I'm I'm very likely to get another potion like the Blessing of the Fortune. I couldn't have drink it then. Upgraded loop is good. Consume is really interesting if I get a capacitor. Oh boy. Let's take the consume. Let's really build the focus deck here. All right. Sphere Guardian. Let's do the fragment. Two cold snaps and a strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And then here, let's do ball lightning, charge battery, and wait. Okay. All right, no consume here. A 200, wait, I have eight already. Uh, I can do bash, leap, and reinforce body. That is almost enough to be full defended. I'll lose one HP, which I think is fine. Another 10. There's another defragment that allows me to be defended this turn. Bullseye strike and a zap is enough to kill, right? Good. Okay, cold snap, chiller, compile driver. Chill is nice, but I think I'll take cold snap number, number three. Um, I don't think I need to transform anything. I think I'll take the special relic, mutagenic strength, starting combo three strength. At the end, end of your first turn, lose three strength again. Uh, I mean, I have background models too. I just don't have a lot of attack cards. I don't want to lose the cold snap. I think I'm okay losing the fire potion. Uh, to get Juju based on normal enemy combats, I'm no longer encounter crush mark rooms. That's really nice. And then I don't think I need to heal. Let's grab. I would love a capacitor, but I don't see one. I think I see a defragment here. There's also aggregate, which might be good, but I think I'll take the defragment. That's defragment number three, right? All right, book of stabbing. Oof, 21 incoming. I don't think there's anything I can do. Even if I upgrade this, right? This will be 12. No, there's nothing I can do, right? That's a bummer. I have the weakness potion. Maybe that would have been enough. In that case, let's save the potions. I'll just do leap, bullseye, cold snap. Okay. So with the upgrade, yeah. If I had the weakness potion, that would have been enough. Uh, let's do another cold snap, ball lightning, and um, zap. Sure. Okay. Actually, we we'll, might take a lot of damage here. Another 21. A reinforced body is good. Let's do another cold snap. So now I have nine. A two energy reinforced body is enough. Um... You know what? Let's do bash and then one reinforced body. That hopefully will allow me to deal a lot of damage in the next few turns. Okay, so here I can do defragment one, defragment two, and then defend. And you know what? Let's do consume as well. So I won't have any frost orbs, but I should be able to deal a lot of damage with the lightning orbs. And actually, if I do eruption, strike, and then the orbs would be enough to kill. Good. Got gambling chip at the start of each combat. Discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. And strike that many cards containing strike, deal three additional damage. It's a little too late for genetic algorithm, and I also would love to take Doom and Gloom instead. That would allow me to get overkill in a fight where I can stall it long enough. Virtual Dagger might give me overkill. Actually, no, I just picked up a Dark Orb for the overkill, right? So let's take the gold instead. Okay. All right, Garmin Leader, who is attacking me. And again, I don't have a lot of block on turn one. Let me get rid of all of them. Hope I can get some defensive cards. I got Survivor and Defend, which is 16 with the Dex Potion. That would be enough. But then I also have to kill this one, which I can with the Strike, right? Yeah, so let's do Strike. Um, I think I'll do I'll do Zap, Defend, and Survivor. Uh, I completely messed that up. I thought I already had drank the uh, Dex Potion, but I didn't. So I should drink the Dex Potion real quick. Yeah, so let's drink the next potion first. Actually, I still will do the same thing. Yeah, just because I want to fix that mistake. So I'm not going to no use any of the knowledge I gained. Um, what did I do? I did strike, zap, defend, and survive. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so here, I'd love to do and gloom. I didn't get it. Let's do the fragment, charge battery, and wait. Okay. Mm hmm. Backliner is attacking again. That's unfortunate because I don't think there's anything I can do about that now. Yeah, that's a bummer. All right. Let's do cold snap, strike, defend. That's the best I can do defensively. I mean, I could also drink the blessing of the forge, but I'm losing the perfect either way, so might as well embrace it. Uh, let's do... How do I do this? Um, I kind of want to do... Actually, no. Let's do consume and then doom and gloom. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need a Doom Gloom this turn, not the previous one. Um, here I can do Ball Lightning, okay, then Cold Snap. That kills, oh, actually it doesn't kill, actually the Strike kills this one, good. Increase the chance of uh, not being attacked next turn, yep, lucky. I think I'll risk doing Eruption Bullseye, okay. Just because I don't think there's much damage left to be done and I sort of need to finish this. Yeah, Bash Strike is enough. Okay, no real chance of perfecting this one, unfortunately. I still am lacking, yeah, I guess a lot of fro orb generation, frost orb generation specifically. You had meal ticket, when we enter a shop, heal 15 HP, and symbiotic virus at the start of each combat channel 1 dark. That would also allow me to get overkill. Let's take another ball lightning. Okay. And then here I got pendip. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. All right. And then I don't think I need a rest side. Let's just do a regular fight here. Yeah, this is a perfect time to try to get overkill with the dark orb, right? So maybe I'll try to get frost orbs and then get the dark orb up front. So let's do the fragment, um, bullseye, strike, cold snap. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right. I don't think I'll do eruption here. I'll do recursion. Uh, it's a little dangerous. Fine. So now I think I'll wait. I just have one frost drop, though. That's a little unfortunate. I was hoping to get more. I could do cold snap and then get another. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do cold snap and then strike. Charge battery. So now I'll just wait for the other dark orb and then I'll get rid of the lightning orb as well. Okay, so I can do defragment. Um, doom and gloom and cold snap. Okay. Beautiful. So this way I have two frost drops. I've got 12 block every turn and then dark orb will grow slowly but surely. I can even do defragment consume. I do cold snap. Uh, yeah, sure. Cold snap then consume. Oh, I don't have the energy for the consume. That's fine. It's okay. This way I'll get more block, which is nice. Uh, and so, yeah, I'll speed this up. I'll be back when the Dark Orb is ready to deal enough damage. Okay, there's a Recursion, and Pendip is also ready, so I can deal more than 100 damage there and get Overkill. Go for the Ice Streamliner Turbo. I don't know if I actually need Turbo. I'm not sure. Go for the Ice is nice, too. Yeah, Turbo with Reinforced Body might be good. Yeah, let's take it. And then I think I'll continue doing Crush Mark Rooms. I don't think I need the shop just yet. There's Curse number two, Regret, as well as a bunch of gold. And then Slaver Seer. Yeah, having an upgraded chill would be great. I do have an, um, what do you call it? Double damage Pendip Doom and Gloom, which is nice. Get rid of everything else, because actually, Ball Light might be good too. All right, so uh, there is Doom and Gloom, and that is almost enough to kill everything. Ball Lightning kills. Beautiful. I'm happy that the pendant was ready. Got old coin, dump pickup, gain 300 gold, and regal full one of your rest, an additional 15 HP. A colorless potion, and stack is pretty good. A great defensive card. Here, I got the German leader again. All right, so here I think I'll get rid of um, these four, hoping to get a good attack card. Okay, Ball Lightning is fine. Let's do Ball Lightning 1, Ball Lightning 2. Then Cold Snap and Strike. Okay. Not a bad start. Mm -hmm. Backland is summoning. That's good. Unfortunately, I can just do the Fragment. Let's also do Stack and Defend to make the Regret deal less damage. Mm -hmm. And still not being attacked. That's great. I do need to kill some of these, uh, which I might have trouble with. I think... Hang on. Let's let's upgrade everything here. Do the Fragment that sets the Defend to zero. Okay. Um, then I can do Zap. And Bash is not enough, right? Unless I get lucky with the orbs. Let's do Bash and hope. Okay, good. At least one of the orbs hit one of the minions. And still not being attacked. Really lucky. I can do... Let's do Bullseye, Doom and Gloom. Does mean I won't be able to play the Consume, but I think that's fine. Mm, still not being attacked. Very nice. Yeah, the attack pattern in this particular fight was very useful here. Let's do Cold Snap. Can I actually full defend against 18? Yes, I can. Double damage, strike, another strike. And then I just need 10 damage on the backliner. That should be very doable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so here, Bash is enough. Phew. Okay, perfect this one too. I got a little lucky here, admittedly. All right, we got Vajrash. I just come with one strength and Toxic Egg. One of you add a skill into deck, upgrade it. A block potion. And yeah, let's take the upgrade aggregate. I need some more card draw. And then I can also try to get combo. Uh, this is tough. I don't really stand a chance of getting any max HP bonuses at the moment. So let's take the apparitions. Uh, they will also be upgraded with the Toxic Egg. So um, yeah, yeah, let's hope they'll be useful. Next upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade the Defragments. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Champ. Okay, well, I do have the Aggregate. I'm not sure. I would like to set up... You know what? Let's save the... Let's save the Frost Orbs and the Defragment. So I'll do, might as well do Aggregate, Defragment, Cold Snap, Cold Snap, and wait. Do I want to, let me see if the Colorless Potion gives me, I was hoping for a power, but Master of Strategy is nice because I have the energy. Let's do another Defragment, Doom and Gloom, and Charge Battery. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping for a good power, but this is fine too. So two Frost Orbs. There's an Apparition, which I don't think I need to play at the moment. Um, instead, I think I'll just do Cold Snap, Strike, and uh, wait. Okay. Maybe my strategy should be to just grow a Dark Orb before the enemy transforms. That might be an interesting thing to do. Let's do Bullseye Ball Lightning. Oh, now I don't have an extra Frost Orb. That might be a problem. Okay, luckily I'm not being attacked. Um, okay, let's get rid of the Survivor, or the Doubt. Mm -hmm. Alright, still not being attacked. Uh, I think I'll do Recursion, right? Yeah, let's do Bash, Recursion, and Wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. 21. 
Uh, there's a consume which I can't play because then I'll lose the Dark Orb, which is a lot of damage to lose. Let's do the Fragment. Oh, and now it made the Consume cost zero. Actually, if I do Ball Lightning, then I can do Consume. Uh, wait, I only have 16, so I need to drink the Block Potion here as well. Okay. Mm, no more Block Potion. That might be dangerous. 27. Okay, luckily I drew an Apparition here. Uh, wait, that alone is not enough. I also have to play the Stack. So let's do Stack, Apparition, Bullseye. Okay, now I would like to evoke the Dark Orb if I can. The enemy is not transforming yet, um, but I think if I do Doom and Gloom, yep, that will force a transformation, so uh, yeah, let's try to evoke this Dark Orb. will also casually get me overkill. I don't think I'll do uh, Consume here. Let's do Bash and Cold Snap. Oof. Can I deal 70 damage? That might be a challenge. Because I don't think I can defend. Unless I draw the Apparitions. Yeah, that would be useful. Give me an Apparition. It did. Beautiful. Um, all right, let's do Apparition. In that case, do I actually want to um, evoke the Dark Orb? Do I want it to wait for a little longer? I still have more Apparitions. So, uh, yeah, let's do Cold Snap, Strike, and wait. Okay. 38 seems very doable. Another 20. Another Apparition. Let's do Ball Lightning 1, Ball Lightning 2. That actually allows me to be fully defended. Let's do Cold Snap, and that is enough to kill. Beautiful. Perfect this one. Got a little lucky there. We got a Power Potion. And again, I'm going, going, to, going to go for Popper, so no need on the rare cards. Slaver's Collar is probably the safest choice here. Let's take it. During Boston Lead Combats, gain extra energy at the start of your turn. So I got Overkill. I still need to get Combo. Mm -hmm. Awaken one at the end, which is unfortunate because I do rely a lot on the Fragments. I can hit four of the five Elites. Oh, I forgot to count question mark rooms, but I mean, I still need three curses, right? What about shops? Is there a shop? There is a shop here, which would force me, or a shop here, which would allow me to skip a question mark room. Yeah, let's do question mark rooms until I... Actually, there's a shop here that I can take. Let's do that. I have plenty of gold to spend. Hmm. I should be fine with Alex Shiny, though, right? So I don't think I need to buy extra relics. Uh, let's keep the cold snap here. Okay. And then I'll do... Cold... Wait, actually, let's do defend, then cold snap. Okay. Then, um, oh, I'll actually take damage unless I do a reinforced body. Yeah, I guess Slaver Scholar makes regular fights still have me lacking a little bit of energy. Okay, there's Aggregate, Apparition. I will lose HP if I attack the Spiker. You know what? Let's me, let me just rely on the um, on the Lightning Orbs and the Dark Orbs to kill the Spiker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another Apparition and Ball Lightning. Okay, Actually, I could have... I didn't need to kill this one because I was intangible anyway. Could have targeted the Backliner. All right, Defragment, Apparition, Defend, and Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I just need a little bit of damage here. Uh, here, let's do Cold Snap. Good. Okay, not much damage. Not any damage taken there. We got a Block Potion. That's good. Tempest with the Aggregate might be really good. Let's take it. And then here, Curse number two, sure. Or Curse number three. A second regret, but third curse. Duvidol is not bad. Verge Curse index, I just come with one strength. Yep, I have three strength already. And I mean, I can afford it. Let's take Nunchako every time we play 10 attacks and gain extra energy. And Clockworks are near Sarge Combat with Sarge Combat with one artifact. Let's also take Glacier, Storm, Leap, Bullseye. And that's pretty much it. Do I want a Swift Potion? Let's take a Swift Potion too in case I have an emergency. Mm -hmm. Bloodval at the Sarge Combat, heal 2 HP. And, uh, yeah, that gives me five curses. Beautiful. All right, so I was able to get the curse modifier. The normalities might be a little annoying, though. I have to be careful. Uh, there's an apparition. That's good. Um, should I keep the Tempest in case I get the... Um... Yeah, I didn't get it. Uh, what was the card I was looking for? Aggregate, right. Uh, so let's do apparition, ball lightning. I think I'll do... I have to do cold snap, actually. Double damage. That's nice. Okay. And then should I do Tempest? Uh... Mm hmm. Yeah, let's do Tempest here, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, luckily I'm not being attacked here. Let's do the Fragment. Uh, I, if I do Doom Gloom, I lose my Frost Orb. Actually, if I do Cold Snap, I'll get a Frost Orb back. Mm -hmm. I need a Frost Orb in case um, I need to become intangible. Uh, Alright, there's a Normality. That's a problem, right? Because I need to defend against 18, and I don't think I can. Let me see if this gives me an Apparition. Didn't, but it did, gi it did give me a Survivor. Okay, then let's do the Fragment, Bullseye, Ball Lightning, Strike, that's 17, yeah, I need to play Defend here too, okay, oh, actually that was enough to kill, beautiful, got the boot, when you deal 4 or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to 5, and Dead Branch, when you exhaust the card, add a random card into your hand, that's really good, a Fear Potion, which I don't think I'll take, I, oh, well, I mean, I don't think I'll use, but I'll take it, 
Let's take the second consume, hoping to get a collectibles on that, although it's not super likely. And here, I don't need another curse. Zap, multicast, finesse, zap. I, I, I guess I can take another zap. White nose would be really good. Compile driver too. I guess I can take finesse. No, let's take the white nose. I think white nose is better. Okay. All right. Still need to buy. Uh, I need to get five more cards to get in Subidium, which I think should be pretty doable. All right. Get rid of the regret. Probably don't need to consume. Cold Stab and Doom and Gloom are pretty good. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't really need to play the Agate. Let's do Cold Snap, Doom and Gloom, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem, right? Turn one. If I don't have an Apparition, I might take a lot of damage. Actually, same with turn two. Let's do Bash, Bullseye. Oh, that's enough to kill. Right, extra strength. Got an Essence of Steel Potion, which I'll take over the Fear Potion. I might have considered drinking and just to drink the Fear Potion just to heal. Cool Headed is a great card. Let's take it. And then here I got Shuriken. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. All right. And head, okay. 13. Uh, well, I do need a way to defend. Um, let me see. I, I, don't, I guess I'll take the aggregate in case I get Tempest. No, instead I got the normality, right? Oh, this is tough. Um, even an Essence of Teal and Defend is not enough, so it has to be the Block Potion. And then I can do um, Zap, Defend, and might as well do aggregate, okay. Hmm. Not happy that I had to use the block potion in this turn. And there's an apparition, but a little too late. Uh, let's do charge battery, leap, bullseye, and ball lightning. Okay. Mm -hmm. 13. I mean, reinforced body is enough, right? Let's do... How do I do this? Let's do cold snap. Okay. Then doom and gloom. Then, um, then reinforced body. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm dealing damage a little slowly. I'm a little worried about that. White Noise gives me a buffer, which is very useful. Although I do have two regrets, so with those it might not be that great. Uh, let's do Darkness. Okay. Then um, Defend, Defend, Bash, and Cold Snap. I wonder if I should drink another Power Potion. Let's do that when I have a hand so I can use the Mummified Hand there. A full hand, I mean. I guess, I guess here I have to use the buffer, right? So let's do the Fragment... Another Defragment, and then Recursion. Okay. Alright, there goes my buffer. Mm -hmm. 35. Luckily, I got Apparition here. Let's do Apparition, Defragment. And then, um, I don't think I need to play the Leap. Let's do Double Strike. Okay. I still need to evoke those Dark Orbs. 40. Well, there's Tempest. That would evoke Dark Orbs. If I do Glacier, that might be good too. Um, How do I do this? I think I'll do Glacier first. Okay. So that's, yeah, that should be enough with the Tempest. Let's also do Ball Lightning and then Tempest. Okay. Wow, that actually was not that bad. Mm hmm And then the Orb should be enough to kill here. Um, yeah, yeah, I actually got pretty lucky here. All right. Perfect this one against Centennial Puzzle. The first time lose HP each combat, draw three cards. And Oracle come if you end your turn without blocking six block. That's really good for the intangibility. Uh, way too late for the generic Argon. Do I want Hello World? That is not a bad idea. Unfortunately, it is a power against the Awakened One, which is annoying, but I think I'll take it, yeah. And it is innate as well. And I think I'll go for... Actually, I already have enough Curses, right? So I don't need more Question Mark Rooms. Let's go for Shops, and I can get a Late Shop too. Wait, I should count. Let's assume I had five Question Mark Rooms on Act 2, so then that means that means I should have gotten the I Like Shiny modifier or the Mystery Mystery modifiers already. Let's hope that's right. So yeah, let's do the Shop here. Membership card, 50% 50, 50 discount on all products, which is great. Art of War, if you do not play any attacks during your turn, get additional energy next turn. And it can be kill your first attack. Each combat deals 8 additional damage. Also take Ball Lightning, Cool Headed, a Loop, Bullseye, and Panic Button, my favorite. In terms of uh, relic or potions, let's also take the Focus Potion and move on. All right, that was a good shop. And I still have another shop coming up later too, right? Uh, Time-wise, I'm doing fine, actually. All right, Reptomancer is attacking me. Let's get rid of everything other than the apparition. I might need that. Um, okay, let's do Aggregate Bullseye for double damage. Yep. And then let's do Apparition, Ball Lightning uh, to kill you. And then I can do Zap. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, hoping for another apparition here. Got lucky. Good. Apparition 1, Apparition 2. I can amplify the Defragment, which is great. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I don't want to do Defend because I already have the um, Urkalkum. Mm -hmm. oh, unfortunately, I drew another Apparition there, which I couldn't play. 
Hmm. All right, I am intangible. Let's do storm recursion, then cold snap, ball lightning, and strike. Actually, I might be able to perfect this one too. Thirty nine incoming. If I do, yeah, one strike is enough. Beautiful. Perfect this one. We got back operation at the Savage Combat. Draw two additional cards and Tungsten Rod. One of you lose HP, lose one less. Ball Lightning, Seek, or Consume. How many Consumes did I have? I have three Ball Lightnings and two Consumes. So let's take the Collector Most on the Ball Lightning. And then here, Giant Head again. Okay, so I might start off with... I don't think I need the Apparitions. I might start off with uh, Hello World, actually. Bash is pretty good, too. Let me keep a Cold Snap, just in case. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's just do Hello World, Defend... Zap, and then I'll do Bash and Cold Snap. Okay. And I guess I could do Reverse Body so the Regret deals no damage thanks to the Tungsten Rod. Alright, here I have the Normality and the Regret, which is annoying. Um, let's do the Fragment 1, the Fragment 2. I guess I'll do Compile Driver, even though it'll force me to draw a bunch of cards that I can't play. Mm -hmm. Even more cards with Incendio Puzzle. Alright, 13. I could do Apparition here, but I'd rather try to do something with Charge Battery. Yeah, Charge Battery and the Frost Orb is enough. I think I'll do Charge Battery, Doom and Gloom. I can't do the Consume, right, without losing the Frost Orb. Let's do Doom and Gloom and then Bullseye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another 13. Um, I think I'll just do the Cold Snaps, right? Actually, I have the energy to play everything here. Let's do this, then Double Strike and Double Cold Snap. Mm-hmm. All right, 30. This is getting harder. I do have a panic button here. That is tempting. Let's start with Compile Driver first. Hmm. I think I have to do... Actually, no, I don't have to, but let's do Ball Lightning. And then I have to do Panic Button. And I just really have to hope I can somehow perfect next turn. I only need 46 damage, which seems doable. I also have the Apparition, which helps. Let's do the Fragment Apparition. Then um, I think I'll just do Tempest. And then that should be enough. Uh, I don't think there's anything I need to seek. Yeah. Should be enough with the um, uh, Lightning Orb next turn. Although, can I play another power? Yeah, just to get uh, pinned up closer to 10. Got Strawberry up and pick up Racer Max by 7. And what's it on pick up over two random attacks? Let me first see. Yeah, Skim might help me try to get combo somehow. And then this upgrades Ball Lightning and Cold Snap. And then, yeah, let's do another shop. I mean, I have the gold. Preserved Insects is great. Enemies in Elite Combos. Oh, actually, I guess it's great if it wasn't in, in literally the last floor. But still, let's take it. Um, yeah, and then let's also take Kunai every time. Play three attacks in a single turn. Gain one dexterity. Runic Capacitor is amazing. A Starish Combo with three additional orb slots. That's really good. Would allow me to actually turtle. Might even allow me to perfect the upcoming boss. Let's also buy the Charge Battery. Hologram is good. I don't think I need to buy anything else, though. In terms of potions, I am happy with the potions I have. So maybe a discovery, I'll take that as well. If I had more than five curses, I would have removed one of their mallets at the moment because they might be annoying. But I can't because I have exactly five. Mm -hmm. And then next upgrade, should that be... Probably not the storm. Maybe, yeah, let's upgrade the other fragment here. Okay, so the goal is to get as many frost orbs as I can early on. That would be amazing. I do have 20 incoming off the bat. I do have one... Oh, actually, this is not bad at all. Let's get rid of these. Okay. And then I do have the normality here. So let's drink the Essence of Steel and the Focus Potion. Then do... Did I do this? Let's do Cold Snap. Okay. Then I kind of want to do Doom and Gloom. Oh, wait, so I have nine. Yeah, Leap is enough. And then Doom and Gloom would allow me to kill one of them. Actually, both minions, right? Okay, and that was double damage. Good. So I need more Frost Orbs here. 24. Reinforced Body is fine. At 3 energy, Reinforced Body is enough, right? Let's see what the Discovery gives me. Overclock, Genetic Algorithm, Reboot. I mean, I don't really need any of those. Let's take Genetic Algorithm, get rid of it. And then do uh, a Reinforced Body. Reprogram might have been interesting, but I don't think it's necessary. I'd rather focus on having focus. 20. Okay, I need my Frost Orbs. Oof, Panic Button is dangerous. Let's do Consume. I don't think I have a choice here, right? Um, let's do Bullseye. Um, I guess I can do Defend Panic Button. And really now the ho the hope is... Oh, actually I got Buffer, which is a power and I don't want to play it. My hope is to get a, an Apparition next turn. I haven't seen a single one yet, so yes, got lucky there. All right, good. Let's do Apparition. Beam Cell. Cool-headed. Okay. 
another apparition i don't think that's necessary uh, instead i think i'll do recursion uh tempest would evoke the dark orb which i don't want instead let's do leap and then uh, sorry uh, i mean evoke the frost orb which i don't want so yeah this way i'll keep the frost orbs and now i think my strategy should just be to save frost orbs and nothing else to not give the enemy an extra strength yeah glacier will help with that let's do glacier cold snap and cool headed okay so now i gain plenty of block every turn mm -hmm. maybe i should keep one lightning orb because i am fully defended uh actually I would love to play the Defragments. They might be worth it, but no, let's transform first. Let's do Bullseye and wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can do another Consume. I probably should do another Consume, right? Yeah, let's do Consume. Should I do one more Consume, or is that too much? I actually don't have the energy to do one more Consume. Uh, can I Hologram something that gives me another Frost Orb? I like the um, Cold Snap. That also deals damage, and it's almost enough to... Yeah, it is enough to kill here. Beautiful. Um... Yeah, let's drink the power potion as well. I don't think any buffer. Let's take the defragment. Okay. All right, so I have 48 block every turn, plus the 10 from um, the Oracalcum and the plate armor, so that should be plenty. Um, is there any way for me to get combo here? Not really. Um, I also don't think I need the apparitions. So yeah, I'll just... Uh, I know people said that they don't like it when, you, when I speed it up, but I do think it's boring, so use the timestamps to go to the summary if you're not interested, but this should be fairly straightforward, so let's do... Do I want to do Storm? Let me see what White Nose gives me. Ooh, Electrodynamics is tempting. You know what? Let's try this. Let's do Storm, Electrodynamics, then Charge Battery, Scrape. Okay, Beam Cell, Stack. Ooh, was that a mistake? Because now I don't have enough Frost Orbs. I might have to try to regenerate them. 30 incoming. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I made a horrible mistake here. Um. Go for this. We'll bring it down to 27. That's not enough. Charge Battery is only not enough block I think I messed up I completely messed up here uh, even if I evoke this it's only 15 wait um, hang on so 12 plus 10 22 no that should be enough if I don't play if I don't evoke this yeah so let's do let's do bullseye and I also can't do the hyper beam yeah so that's 22 thanks to your call few okay I really need more frost orbs shouldn't have gotten rid of them should have played it carefully I think I got a little uh, too confident there um, so here I can do Cold Snap, Ball Lightning, Hello World. And then that is it. Actually, I'm not that far off from being able to kill here. Yeah, next turn the orbs will be enough to kill. Okay. It was a little scary there, but I was able to perfect this one. Awesome. Okay, I should have gotten a lot of modifiers other than the combo modifier. I think I needed Aggregate and Skim in the same hand for that. 1626, that's not too bad. Of the 10 elites, no, 11 elites, I perfected 7, which is not bad, but not great either. I got all the bosses, overkill, curses, uh, two collector bonuses, which is a little disappointing. I did get one on Apparitions and Ball Lightning. I was close to getting one on Bullseye, Cold Snap, Defragment, and that's it. Yeah, so three more that I could have gotten if I got a little lucky. I uh, got Mr. Machine, which was fairly straightforward. I like shiny, rainy money, and light speed. Yeah, I think this is a pretty solid run. I guess the only thing I could have done differently was to perfect more elites if I got lucky. But yeah, this actually puts me in 12th place. I'm very happy with that. I suspect it is late in the day, so I am actually very happy with this. I suspect that not many people went for curses. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, for example, if you tried to go for Handlander, there's no way you can get the curses anyway because you need to get the normality events. And um, you also, I had duplicate regrets. And uh, it might also require some luck. Um, so yeah, very happy with the score. I can't complain about that. Let me know in the comments what you did. Let's review the scores from yesterday. All right, so yesterday was a watcher run with the sealed deck, red cards, and big game hunter modifiers. I did not do too well, but a lot of people did really well, including Anti with 1692. That's an amazing score. Anti perfected all the elites and all the bosses, got light speed just barely by 10 seconds, although had to reload a final fight to be able to do that. Uh, did get well fed, and I think that indicates that the RNG was slightly different. I had no trouble getting uh, stuffed because I had an early feed, but some people didn't, and I suspect Anti was one of them. Also was able to get Insigibidian by resting in the very last rest site to uh, get an extra card so yeah congratulations i assume also got alex shiny which is the big thing i missed so yeah really good score there then you have sita with 1679 uh, vorpal was 1669 Pelz got 1648, Malzan got 1623, Malzan perfected 11 of the 12 elites, um, all the bosses, uh, was able to get overkill, didn't get combo though, and then yeah, Malzan was one of the people who had very different RNG, so didn't see the feed until the very end, and only used it at the very final fight, as a result was only able to get well fed and didn't get the stuff modifier, was able to get I like shiny and uh, also Enskibdian, 
Um, had a very powerful deck that killed everything very quickly. But yeah, because of the different RNG, he didn't have a barricade um, and also didn't see an omniscience. But he did see an offering which he was able to bottle. So that's interesting because I don't think I saw an offering and I definitely relied a lot on the omniscience which I bottled. Then you have Cosmino here with 1621, tied with Very Upset, 1621 as well. Very Upset perfected 8 of the 12 elites, all the bosses got Overkill and Combo, and actually Very Upset, just like me, got both Overkill and Combo in the very last turn, which is what I did as well. I got lucky there. We both got lucky. Was able to go for Stuffed, which is also what I got. I like Shiny and um, Encyclopedian with exactly 50 cards, as well as the Lightspeed modifier, which, which with also 10 seconds to spare. So yeah, really close there. And then also different RNG. Uh, now, Very Upset saved a bunch of potions for the bosses. Um, he also had to use Smoke Bomb at one point on Act 2 to save some HP. And uh, also removed the Regret very early. Didn't realize that Curse would not have been possible, but not having that Regret definitely helped. And then also had a Wish that he got towards the end. Um, but yeah, I don't think I don't think I saw a single Wish at all. And then uh, Very Upset, just like Mazan, also bottled the Offering, which allowed him to have a pretty good opening hand. Then you have Mike here with 1619. Flicknickum with 1592, and I shouldn't mention as an aside, I would have tied Flicknickum if I had gotten I like Shine. I'll mention in a second all the ways that I couldn't gotten that as well. Then you have Goldberry with 1571. Goldberry, just like me, missed I like Shine by one relic, which is a shame. I'm not sure if Goldberry had the same chances that I did, although he did mention that he was able to, he would have been able to buy an extra relic on Act on the first shop on Act 1. Uh, but that would have required a lot of gold, and he wasn't, well, he was hoping he would get more uh, relics later on. Uh, perfected 11 of the 12 release and all the bosses, though, so that's pretty good. Then you have Steven uh, here with 1567, Rado with 1542, uh, Dopamine with 1548, George with 1546, and I end up with 1542. So, yeah, I just missed the Alex Shiny modifier. Um, I perfected 9 of the 12 elites, all the bosses got overkill combo and the light speed modifier, stuffed as well. And so, I like Shiny. I There's so many opportunities. So, first of all, I took the Holy Water, where if I, t if I had taken any other boss relic, I would have added one extra relic rather than replace an existing relic. I end up with 24 relics in the end right so that would have made a difference Olay actually pointed out that runic dome was a very good choice because i was able to kill everything so quickly the other thing is i skipped tiny chest that would have allowed me to get i like shiny as well and then the last thing that's the biggest thing and roland and phoenix both mentioned that i could have at the end removed a regret to get the poopy, re poopy relic poopy spirit relic right um, and that will have allowed me to get I like Shiny. And also, at that point, I knew I was not going to, going to be able to get Curses. So I didn't really need the Curse. I also didn't need Max HP. I removed the Rare card instead. So that was just a huge oversight on my part. Would have easily given me 50 points to put me in the top 100. So, yeah, that's a shame. I missed it by just a bit. Um, and then I should also mention Chris almost tried to go for Popper with Peace Pipe. Uh, I suspect with the almost uh, means that he didn't get it. But, um, yeah, not sure if that was the right strategy yesterday. Anyway, that's it for yesterday. Let me, let me know in the comments what you did for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. And I'll make sure I record much earlier than I did today. Thanks for watching. Bye.